Take me out to the ball game. Take me. All right, well, enough singing. But you're probably wondering why is Bill Cates holding a baseball bat? No, I'm not advocating that you hit your clients over the head. And so they'll give you referrals and introductions, although I guess it probably could come in handy sometimes. In any event, uh, look, I'm excited about baseball season coming up. Why? Because what they do at spring training is the same thing we do at our referral champions training camp. Spring training. Well, they certainly go back to basics, do they not? And they remind themselves of things that they already knew and they practice and hone and fine tune and make sure they get that. And then they learn new things. A pitcher may learn a new pitch or a batter may learn, uh, you know, refine his ability to hit the opposite field or hit a, or get better at hitting the curveball. Well, that's what happens our referral champions training camp where we do get back to some basics, some things you've heard before. Maybe you did them before and they work so well you stop doing them. But the bottom line is you're going to get some new stuff, some cutting edge. Stuff. I'm always looking for ways to provide value. And so real quick, here's what we're going to do at the Referral Champions Training Camp. Well, first of all, it actually starts before the training camp because I'm going to give you some reports and some tools and a couple of things for you to do beforehand to make sure you come ready to maximize your success. And I do recommend you take advantage of our buddy discount so you come with someone because you're going to listen to some things and hear some things that he or she doesn't hear and they're going to hear some things and remember things that you didn't hear and, and together you're going to do better and you're going to go back to the field and you're going to hold each other accountable and everything. So first of all, a little bit of pre-work and part of the pre-work is getting your buddy with you. And then we're going to really start out with your value proposition. You've probably been hearing me talk a little more about that lately because I'm writing a new book on the topic about creating a relevant and compelling value proposition so that when you leave voicemails and send emails and talk to folks to try to set up an appointment and eventually turn them into a client and make recommendations, they're actually going to stay with you in your process. They're going to Everything you say is going to be relevant and everything you say and do is going to be compelling to keep them moving forward. And I think you can see how that's critical for making referrals and introductions work because how you talk about the work you do is how your clients are going to talk about the work you do to others. Certainly, we're going to make sure that you're referable. We're going to make sure that you create incredible engagement with prospects and new clients and ongoing clients so you're super referable. And then, and then leverage that referability. How do you leverage that promoting referrals, asking for referrals and introductions without being pushy, without looking needy. And you're going to roll up your sleeves and practice this a few times. And I know the practice feels a little awkward at first. Boy, that's the way you get better at this. And that's the way you remove any awkwardness or fear or doubt you have around this. And you become super confident. And then turning the referral into an introduction, actually getting connected. That's where it falls down for a lot of folks, right? They have a client willing to introduce, but you don't take that next step and actually make it happen. In fact, I'm here to tell you that referrals are worthless unless what? Unless you get connected, unless you get introduced. We also have follow-up coaching calls where we're going to go into new material and coach you through the process. We're going to talk about how to get referrals from centers of influence, strategic partners like CPAs, attorneys, and all the folks that have the ability to send people your way, but maybe they're not doing as, as much as you'd like that to do. And, and how can you maximize social event marketing? All kinds of other tools that we're going to provide to you. So, you know, get your baseball, get your glove, come on to the Referral Champions Training Camp. Make sure you take advantage of the early bird discount, the buddy discount, or bring a few from your office and five or more, and you get a super discount there. And I know that you will find this to be a valuable experience. You're going to be surrounded by like-minded people who want a proven process, who are willing to do what it takes. They're really, truly committed once and for all to making this work. I know I have some good information to share with you and some good processes to share with you. And kind of the bonus, if you will, is the fact that there are going to be people in the room that also have good processes and good things that they've been doing that work for them. And some of the best ideas over the years have actually come from people inside the room. So please make sure you grab your seat. We only have place for uh, room for 50 people. We've sold a bunch already, so I want to make sure you get your seat. Just go to referralchampionstrainingcamp.com. That's referralchampiontrainingcamp.com, and we'll see you in March. Just as the professional baseball players are going, finishing up their spring training, ready to, to hit the season, we're going to make sure you hit the rest of the year running fast and hitting them hard and building a successful business. Bill Cates leaving you with a question. Who are you going to be introduced to today? Thanks for watching.